Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you using the Windows Task Scheduler how you can schedule AutoHockey scripts to run at a particular point in time each day or every X number of days or weeks or months. You can also schedule in advance a script to run just once at a point in time in the future. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Having a script scheduled to run at every interval is the final step in automation. The benefit of having a task scheduled in advance, needless to say, is that you don't have to do absolutely anything to get what you want. For example, I have a task scheduled to email me the weather forecast of Hong Kong each day at 6 a.m. So here's my Gmail account. Let me just do a quick search for a partial match of the subject that is contained within my weather forecast email each day. So here's the result. So you can see that each day I am getting um, an email at 6 a.m. to tell me the weather forecast for the next um, a week or so and also today's date with the weather condition. So this data comes from this website and so I've got a auto hockey script that scrapes this website for the information that goes into this table and this table is sent to me in, in an email each day so I don't even have to um, go to a script and run it and the computer does it for me every day. I have a few other tasks set up just like this on a spare laptop that sends me custom made daily newsletters from a, a few news websites as well. And in one of the future tutorials, I will be covering how you can do that using web scraping or web automation through AutoHockey. All right, now that's out of the way, let's go back to learning how we can do uh, schedule a task using Windows Task Scheduler. All right, to start up the task scheduler, actually I have to take out the Windows part because task scheduler is the task scheduler, not Windows task scheduler. Now, if you go to the start menu by pressing the Windows key and then type out task scheduler and click or press enter um, to launch the program that shows up upon the search, you will be taken to this um, application where you can um, click the folder on the left hand side that says task scheduler library which will show you the list of all the tasks that are set up in your PC by yourself or by the system default or by the programs that you have installed on your PC. In order for you to create a new task you can either go create basic task or create task. Create basic task will do for most purposes. We're going to create a simple task that runs at every interval or once um, at a point in time in future. So creating a basic task will do it for us. So I'm just going to call my new task, my custom task. And then you hit the next button. Now in this section, you are asked to specify whether you want to run it daily, weekly, monthly, or one time. One time means uh, once at a point in time in future. So here you are taken to add the date and the time. Now let me go back and show you how you can create a task that runs regularly. So I'll select daily and hit next. It looks the same except that there is a recur every X days field where I can change the days to whatever I want. Right, let me just change this up a bit. Now, in the next section, there's only really one option, which is to start a program. And then if you go to the next one, you have to provide the path to the program or the script. Now, let me go ahead and select the script that I want to run. Um, but right now, this test script one has nothing. So let me just create a message box that says hello go back to my task scheduler and select the test script one now if I save this by pressing next and finalizing the creation of the task it will show up here now the problem is um, you can use this button run button to test whether your uh, task is going to successfully launch the script that you want to and get the result that you want to when I press this, 
I'm going to get an, a window that asks me to select the program that I want, want to run the AutoHockey script from. Now, this is not the ideal because we, we don't want this. We, we want the AutoHockey script to run. So um, a workaround for that is that you create a batch file. Now, a batch file means a really simple batch file that points to this test script one dot auto archive script um, and run it. So I'll make the task scheduler run the batch file that runs the test script one auto archive file or script. Now um, it's simple to create a batch file. You just go create a new text document and just change the extension to BAT. And I'm going to call this my script batch file and right now it has nothing so if I go right click and edit it will get me it will bring up this notepad where I can you know add commands now in order to run this script what you have to do is provide the name of the script wrapped in quotation quotation marks so if I save this and run it it's going to show me the message box that says hello there we go. So this batch part file, what it does is basically runs a com command prompt to, to run this script. Now, mind you that because I have provided just the name of the script, not the full path to the, the old hockey script, this means that my batch file has to be placed in the same folder as the test script one old hockey script. Now, once this is all set up, I can change the pointer for my custom task to my batch file. Now also what I have to do is I have to grab the path of the folder in which the AutoArchy script and the batch file is saved and paste that into the start in argument ending with a a backslash or forward slash which whichever um, right for you now if I hit OK and then hit OK again if I run this task I'll get the message box I'll get the command prompt and the message box that says hello okay so in this manner you're able to launch auto archive scripts through task scheduler and tailor your triggers to your needs now, just before we go, I'll show you one quick example that I use to send me an email update of my investment portfolio every night. So I know how my portfolio is performing. I have switched the account to an example portfolio. So what you see won't be my actual portfolio, however. So I've got the task set up right here and I'm gonna run it to grab an update of my um, example portfolio. Uh, right now but before I do that let me just go back to my gmail um, account all my email incoming emails get starred so when I get a new email it will be started and will be taken to this page now going back to my task scheduler so if I go ahead and run this task what it is going to do is it's going to run the batch file that runs the AutoArchy script that opens up Chrome um, takes me to Bloomberg watch list with my portfolio setup or example portfolio setup and also open up an Excel spreadsheet to extract the information from Chrome, puts it into Excel and then wraps it up into an email and send it to myself. So let me go ahead and run this. So I get the Excel spreadsheet and I get the Chrome on the left hand side and then this Chrome will take me to the page where my example portfolio is and the Excel will start downloading the file um, or information onto the spreadsheet and then sends an email back into uh, my Gmail account. So if I, if I go back and hit refresh, I should see a new email, there we go, that is freshly sent. Um, that sends me this table with the information that I want. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.